Hey guys, it's Anne. Welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Anne. I love luxury shopping, shopping, window shopping, real shopping, online shopping. Then I think you're gonna find it very comfortable here. Um, so please don't forget to subscribe. I'm new here on YouTube. That would mean the world to me um, to have your support. All right, guys, the vlog for today is Cartier shopping. I'm so excited to take you guys shopping with me in Cartier and Definitely, I made a purchase at the end, so I'm excited to share that with you guys too. But let's go shopping, let's learn everything that we can. Um, the sell associate that helped me with this vlog is definitely one of the best, for sure. Like, his passion, his love for Cartier is very contagious, you know, and um, we met him way back in 2018. and. The first interaction with him left such a great like impression on us that my first, my very, very, very first purchase, I thought I would go back to Honolulu where it all started and basically, you know, have him help us because I literally with my heart felt like he sold me Cartier. Yeah, he was the reason why I uh, was open with Cartier or that I was even interested in Cartier and he deserved that, you know, and Kevin, if you're watching this, please know that I appreciate you so, so much. And thanks again for helping us. And thanks again for remembering us after all those years. And I am enjoying my purchase with you. And I just can't wait to, you know, make more purchases and falling even deeper in love with Cartier as the year goes on. So um, I'm excited. Thanks again, Kevin. And I will um, put his full name down in the description box. If you guys ever been to on Honolulu or get to travel to Honolulu, trust me, you want to ask for Kevin. You want to book an appointment with Kevin because he is amazing, you guys. And text in Hawaii is also better, so you will get a better deal for the purchase. And right now, I think it might already happen, the price increase that happened in May of 2022. Um, but if it's didn't, you definitely want to book an appointment with Kevin because he is an amazing, amazing, amazing cell associate. All right, guys, enjoy. <music> If you do the one with the diamonds, I kind of like the four because sometimes when you do the ten, then you don't see the love screws anymore. Yeah? So this kind of has a nice balance of having diamonds. Yeah, the Coco Crush, I, I wanted the love to be like a little bit closer to my body, so okay. I'm hoping that to wear the on the bottom right mm -hmm. here. Yeah. Um, so exactly the same closure. Um, back like every hour on the hour sometimes and just make sure that the screw is tight so for this bracelet you cannot so one of the things that maybe what we can do is maybe when i turn it take it off right and on, okay and maybe what i'll do is i'll take this one off so you can actually see um, what i'm talking about when you open and close the bracelet there is a sort of a regimen i want you to follow okay, okay. Um, I want you to slowly build and release pressure evenly on both sides. So what that means is I kind of want you to do about maybe four turns on one side first, okay? And then go to the opposite side and then release the pressure uh, until you cannot turn it any further, okay? So you'll notice at some point the screw will stop. Don't try to hyperextend it, pack okay. that point as far as opening, okay? As far as closing is concerned, this is where I'm going to show you later. I want you to really tighten it, okay? But after you release the pressure, open this side fully. I want you to kind of go back and then open this part fully. Um, it's kind of like lugs on a tire. Uh, you never want to have too much pressure on one side because what will happen is the pressure will cause one side to kind of lift up and be uneven, okay? So let's take a look at the housing. You're going to notice that both sides have a screw on each side. 
and then they also will have the opening on this side. So if you look at the opening, it truly is fully open. So the only thing that keeps this bracelet together is that pressure of this screw. Okay? So very important that when you put it together, that you really tighten it. Okay? You'll also notice that when you put the screws together, I want you to be really careful about making sure that it goes on slowly and evenly. Okay? And you can also know that it can shift like this. Okay? So very important that during the tightening process, you make sure that the seams align perfectly because obviously if you tighten it in this position, right, you'll notice that that gap will not keep the bracelet as tight as it should be. So really when we put it on later today, we'll really make sure to make sure the seams are tight. And then I want you to do the same thing in opposite. So when you tighten one side, I want you to do about 70%, which is about, I want to say four turns, okay? And then fully tighten on one side and then finish off the tightening on this side, okay? At this point, I'm using very little pressure to tighten the bracelet. So it's almost just to keep the blade sturdy into the screw, okay? Later, I will insist when we really tighten it to push much harder down, and that's to keep it positioned so that it doesn't slip and potentially ruin the screw, okay? I will recommend that when I get you the brand new screwdriver, I know this looks horrible, but put a piece of scotch tape over it. Um, the blade is very sharp, so one slip can cause damage to your bracelet, scratching, as well as your arm. Okay, so keep that in mind. Just put a little scotch tape over it and adhere it. If, um, you know, at some point you want to add Justin Clue operates on a hinge system um, and basically it opens up like this. So kind of like your Coco Crush, I think yeah, that's yeah, yeah. right? Uh -huh. yeah. So totally able for you to take on and off whenever you want to. Um, I would recommend that this not be worn every day just because sometimes, you know, this point can... Oh, I see. Okay. Like, I'm just thinking if you're sleeping, you know, you'll right. probably rip your sheets or your pillowcases. So you probably want to take this off daily if you did, you know? Um, but it's very interesting. The lock is fairly easy to operate. It's just about lifting on one end that opens this up. Yeah, and it locks into place. I usually recommend that when you wear this with your other bracelets, with your love or your Coco Crush, mm -hmm. try to keep the flat edge, meaning this edge, next to your bracelet. And the reason being is in case you have your love on this side or your Coco Crush, potentially this could go over and it could scratch your love bracelet or your Coco Crush. So keep okay. it like flat edge together. But okay. They look so great because I don't know if you know the history, right. but truly, when we designed the love bracelet, Aldo Cipolo was the designer who created this in the 70s. He also created the love in the 70s. The love was the permanent collection. This one was kind of not, and it was brought back much later. And so they kind of really go nice together because of the history of the same okay. designer at that time. But so pretty together. I like the texture. Yeah, they're really yeah. pretty. Yeah. Um, so for the smaller one, it operates like a like a flexible bracelet, so it doesn't have the hinge system like the older one or the uh, bigger one. Yeah. So you simply kind of let it wrap around this way. Where should the Cocoa Brush, Cocoa Crush go here? So I kind of feel like, yeah, if you do yeah. the Cocoa Crush, I would do it in between just so that it kind of right. helps to delineate the, the two different surfaces. Right, so I feel right, like the right. Crush and the Love have a flat, thicker okay. surface, kind of having that breakout uh, just in the middle would be cute. Versions. Obviously, there's a no diamond version. The small size has a six diamond version as well. And then this one is the all. Oh, and then we have a, sorry, a, a ten diamond version. And then this one is the all pave diamonds. Ready to paint? Teen. I brought the 17 just so you can see what it looks like. Um, so 
this one I feel like if you did something, um, do the yellow gold as well. You know, I do like the white also. But I like the idea of in case it scratches, I really like the look of yellow gold. I feel like it's a lot richer. Yeah, thank you so much. I'm glad you came back with Spot on. And then you can kind of compare the colors now. The other color is to do rose. Rose is a nice warm shade to do a 15. Right. So that it matches 16. more perfectly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's original. Okay. Isn't it pretty with the diamonds? It is, yeah, it is so pretty. No, no, no. So I kind of feel like uh, it's a thousand, you know, a little over like twelve hundred dollars more. So first side, you know, we do about maybe four turns on this side. Then we go to the opposite side, and we can open this up fully. And then go back to the other side until it doesn't turn anymore. And just really take the time to pull it apart and you want to kind of pull it apart evenly on both sides you know? so do it slowly because you, know? you don't want this to you know you don't want this to happen where you do this because okay? this is all 18 karat gold you know so you're, you're really conscientious of putting it together taking it apart slowly and even it'll be difficult for you to open it later so just to give you an idea of how tight I want you to be, I really want you, when you really start to tighten it, push downwards, okay? Because I don't want you to not have enough pressure where this slips and then potentially ruins the nail head. Because if it does, and if I can't get it off, we have to cut it off, okay? So push it down so that it's really secured in the slot and really, really push down turn at the same time, okay? Just make sure that when you do put it on, make sure that they all align and they all match. You know? uh, because if they aren't, you will notice you know, that it doesn't match. You know? So just kind of flip it around and play with it until they all match. And then take the finger that you wear it on. So say for example, to read this finger, use this finger and your thumb to pick it up so that it doesn't twist in the process of you putting on your finger. And then just let it roll onto your finger. It is three colors, and on the rose gold, there is the Cartier name on it. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be on the top. Uh, where is it? There it is. Yeah. Um, but just basically, it'll, you'll feel that it rolls onto your finger nicely, so it's so very comfortable how it rolls around. Yeah. Um, I like the classic size. This is the classic. Yeah, I'll put it on for you. I hope you guys enjoy watching that. That was really fun for me, like watching it again. Like I was there, <laughs> obviously I filmed it, but it was just so nice. Like we learned everything that he told us and just basically have a review about everything we need to know about Cartier and all of that. So I am in love and love and love with my purchase and I can't wait to show you guys what I got. Um, but stay tuned you guys and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.